At the beginning of the story of Paradise Lost, Satan can be seen as a character that you can sympathize with, despite who he is. A good example from the story of his initial intentions could be the quote, To these Satan directs his speech, comforts them with hope, yet of regaining heaven. He wanted to take back heaven, and there's sort of an understanding behind that. Who wouldn't want to be there after being cast out to hell? Satan also initially admired the first humans with the quote, The garden described Satan's first sight of Adam and Eve, his wonder at their excellent form and happy state, but with resolution to work their fall. He has a respect for God's work, but at this point he sort of ceases to be a sympathetic character when we get to see his actions for getting revenge, and how he targets the humans by tempting them with the apples. Uh, the quote for the apples being, Those rigid threats of death, ye shall not die. How should ye? By the fruit, it gives you life to knowledge. In that quote, he's trying to convince Eve to eat the apples and commit sin, which is his ultimate goal to sort of bring down humanity. I feel like Milton had a conscious intention of making the devil appealing because he wanted to, the reader to be drawn to evil like the character of Eve in the story. You sort of get misled in his charm, and before you know it, he's convinced the protagonists of the story to go against God. He gets his way from it, and the humans are punished. Milton wasn't a part of the devil's party, as some people say. He was just trying to show how the reader could be a part of the devil's party. Many see themselves as pure innocent, but when you realize that you sympathize with the devil, that perspective can change. But this doesn't mean that the devil is entirely appealing. He morphs throughout the story by listening to his own irrational conclusions and forgetting what heaven is like. The further away from an angel he is, the more he deteriorates into the low point that he's at now. He passively proves why he's supposed to reside in hell and shows the reader that anyone can be tempted by the devil.